Now this is our old garlic stash here and I'm just going to show you how to make a new garlic plate. So we've still got a few bits and pieces, a few bulbs left there. Uh, hopefully this new batch of garlic will last us as long as this one did. Um, yeah. Once you've dug the garlic out of the garden, you want to clean it off with a high pressure hose. Make sure you get all the dirt out of the roots and just hose all the loose leaves off. Get them as clean as you can. And if there's any mouldy bits on the garlic around the end, it's a good idea to peel the outside dead leaves off. Strip it right back so you've got nothing but nice white garlic underneath. Alrighty, once your garlic's all washed and clean, now you just want to spread it out somewhere so it can dry in the sun for a few days. It's quite important to get direct sunlight onto the garlic. Once the garlic's nice and dry and we've had it in the sun uh, for a couple of days at least, I prefer to put it in the sun for at least a week. The sun's really important because it kills any mold spores on the garlic and it also makes these outer leaves quite hard. So we've got some nice clean garlic here. I just like to strip the very ends off the leaves. Uh, stripping the ends off gets rid of these tips and uh, any little bits of mold usually grow on the tips, they don't grow on the main stalk. So if you do see any mouldy bits, just trim them off with the scissors or a knife or something. And then it's a really simple matter, you just get a whole bunch of garlic. Start off with six cloves, um, three groups of two, and then just start it off as a plate. And every couple of plates, all you do is you put another couple of cloves in there and you keep plating it. Pretty easy actually. Um, if none of you manly men out there know how to plate, uh, ask your sister, she'll probably know, or your mum might know. Or your Auntie Beryl probably also knows how to plate. So, pretty simple. I like to keep the garlic hanging down the bottom of the plate. Um, if you hang it vertically, it's a good idea to have the garlic bulbs all the way around the edge. But I like to hang it along the roof. So I like the garlic to hang down like this. And uh, once you have plate it up, trim it off. Leave about a centimetre of roots on the end. Uh, this is quite important to trim the roots too. I'm not too sure why, but it is quite important. And when you finish plating it, it should end up looking like a big snake. Or a long dragon. Now airflow is really important. Important. Put it somewhere where there's lots of air, out of direct sun, sunlight, in a cool dark place. It's really important. It's quite dry too and not damp. If it's damp, your garlic won't last. So in the kitchen, somewhere where it's going to look cool, or um, in, on the porch, under the eaves, out of direct sunlight, as long as it's got good airflow and it's dry and it's out of direct sunlight, you can't go wrong. Just like that. Garlic is awesome for you when you run nowhere. Eat the garlic, make the cold go away.